Let's talk about graphical parameters in R. I'm going to start by just simulating a bit of data. For my x values, I want to have a sequence from negative 3 to 3. And I'll increment this sequence by 0.03 every time. For my y values, I'll think of some interesting looking function like e to the negative x squared all times sine of x cubed. Now if we plot x versus y, by default we're just going to get points everywhere that we have data. Maybe we want to change the look of these points. For instance, we could make them larger with the CEX argument. CEX stands for Character Expansion Factor. It defaults to 1, so if we set it to 1, we'll get the same plot. If we set it to 2, now the points are twice as big. Maybe we also want to change the actual character that's plotted. So by default, R is going to plot these open circles. But we can change that with the PCH argument, which stands for plotting character. Again, this defaults to 1. But if we set it to 2, for instance, we can get triangles. 3 gives us crosses. One useful one is 19. And that gives you solid points. We may also want to change the color of these points. So the color defaults to black, but we have a lot of options. So if you type in colors and then just a pair of parentheses, R will list all of these default colors. And there are some weird ones. Let's choose maybe Lavender Blush 3. See what that looks like. Yeesh. Maybe we'll just go with something like red. Okay, now let's talk about graphical parameters for lines rather than points. So we'll start with a line graph. Again, I'll use x versus y, but now I'll specify that my type equals L. So this will just give you a line plot with a black line. Let's go through the analogs for these arguments. So CEX changed the size of a point change the size of this line, we'll use the LWD argument, which stands for line width. Defaults to 1, 2 is twice as thick, 3 is 3 times as thick, and so on. For the actual type of line, we can specify an LTY argument. Defaults to 1 to give you a solid line, 2 gives you a dashed line, 3 gives you a dotted line, and you've got some other options as well. And last, changing the color is exactly the same. You just use the COL argument. And we'll make this one blue. These are just a few of the graphical parameters that you can change. To see all of them, you can type in question mark PAR. And this help file has a lot. We've covered a very small number of the parameters that you can choose from. But if you're interested, you can see all of them that are available here.